Over a hundred years old, the Palace Court Hotel was once the proud centerpiece of this British seaside resort. But today it stands empty and abandoned, a forgotten relic of the past. Local expert Joel fills me in on his history. The building itself was a splendid hotel back in 1885. Victorian England was a place for holiday makers, especially along the south coast. Uh, people came to enjoy themselves. It was quite, I wouldn't use the word debauched, but it was people came to drink, eat, eat drink and be merry and enjoy the seaside. While I learn about the hotel's background, my team checked for the best areas for paranormal activity in preparation for tonight's ghost hunt. Here we are, Palace Chamber Hotel. Massive Grand Victorian Hotel. A lot of history to it. Yeah. One of the main points is Alistair Crowley. He's, so he stayed here. So this is the hotel? Yeah, he used this for various things. Should be a lot um, of energy here for you to pick up on though, Ian. Hopefully, yeah. fingers what, crossed. What do you think so far? Well, love it. Drawn to the lift straight away. And Ian's instinct seems to tally with one of the hotel's more notorious stories. There are a number of accounts of occurrences in the hotel which have led to darker um, stories emerging from those. There was a case in 1905 in July of a um, young porter, 22-year-old James Orbell, who fell down, or was he pushed, or did he jump down the lift shaft, which you will see in the hotel. Is Ian sensing the ghost of James Odell? I'm aware of a gentleman stood here. Um, I would thought a bellboy or something like that. He would have um, let people in the lift, open the lift in and out. I felt at this moment in time, it would have been uh, maybe a maintenance day or due for maintenance. Um, and there, there's something that um, is um, going wrong. There's something going wrong with this lift shaft at this moment in time. And um, I can hear a clatter, a bang and wham. <laughs> As soon as I saw the lift, it felt very sinister to me. Just to my right, I was aware of this young boy stood there. I don't know whether he was a bellboy or he was a liftman, but I was just aware that he died during the lift accident. 